Welcome back guys, it's your boy the Zombies Player 180 here and today I have finally completed the first chapter for the DDA which is a, a reboot of the XEU but I think this time I have nailed it like I did back with the original Dimension Story back in 2017 back in my freshman year, the good old glory days and um, if you hear a noise in the back that's most likely my AC but I'm recording this at 3am because if everyone's asleep and I don't want to make that much of a noise and plus when i record during the day you're gonna hear me be like what the hell is this doing right but um i'm gonna try to do this all in one take or at least tr try to and also i've stated this before but the reason i don't like using my voice is because sometimes i cringe but you know i gotta start using it if i watch you want to get somewhere with these videos but um here we go hope you guys enjoy peace out in the beginning, there was only one, a single endless dark void. Then an explosion happened and light filled it up. Light lit every corner of the void. Then soon after, stars began to form from gas and dust, which collapsed due to gravity and started to form the stars. In the same way, planets were born, solar systems were beginning to be born, and soon the universe was filled with galaxies of different kinds. Not sooner or later, life began to emerge life a precious gift to those who got it not everyone gets life after all the odds of you being born are one in four trillion so consider yourself lucky earth was one of the planets that developed life it took time of course to get to where it is at now but it got there life began as a microscopic organism that developed into aquatic creatures that soon walked onto land and life began to take a different shape you see earth wasn't the only planet that developed life many planets in the universe developed life not all the same species but sometimes similar just how life was created the multiverse 2 was born the multiverse was born from the from the first time when the fish that decided to come out of the water and onto land it caused it to evolve into a different species the specific fish made a choice with that reality split into a branch meaning that another reality was born in which the fish never stepped foot onto land and life never evolved from that reality another was born and soon from those two realities more will begin to be created every choice and decision made splits reality into two and one which the other decisions was made and so on in a distant solar system called Sirius Arpina there were five rocky planets orbiting their own system they followed two gas giants meaning two planets mostly made up were made up of gases the third planet in the system was called Eurycotropia by its inhabitants, like Earth, this planet had vegetation, oceans, lakes, and rivers. What made this planet unique was in what's its inhabitants. These beings were like humans with a twist. Although they looked like humans, their biology seemed impossible. They had the ability to transform into gigantic reptiles known as dragons. This became possible because of a close extinction they almost had. Unlike Earth, this planet never had a meteor wipe out the dinosaurs. Heck, this planet never had dinosaurs. They had dragons, and humans coexisted with each other. But the dragons weren't hostile. They were nice and calm giants. They were kind to the humans and helped them once in a while. The, the planet's civilization detected a solar storm heading their way. A solar storm can cause high doses of radiation without protection. The planet's atmosphere was not enough protection for the mammals on the planet, but the reptiles could easily heal. So the humans began to come up with a solution, and a group of them came up with an idea that was somehow get dragon DNA into themselves and try to get the healing factor to try and prevent the radiation from killing most of their own kind. Most people would have injected the DNA into their bloodstream, but some, some of them took it too far, and that was to try and make human dragon hybrids. They knew the dragon's biology, so they were going to try and fertilize a female dragon's eggs with human reproductive DNA to try and create a hybrid. In about 8 to 10 weeks, the eggs would hatch, but since they were fertilized with them with human DNA, it took the process a little longer, around 20 weeks. When they were born to hatch, it was the moment of truth. The eggs hatched and they achieved their goal. They had created human dragon hybrids. The baby was able to transform into dragons that would soon grow up with the human form. The celebration wasn't long enough though because the solar storm hit and the radiation was everywhere. The non-hybrids died to radiation poisoning while the reptiles didn't. 
the good news was that the people around the, the planet had created these hybrids in order for them to breed when they were old enough. The bad news was that everyone had passed away. The dragons were able to survive and took the hybrids under their wings at the, as if they were one of their own. Eventually, time passed and these babies grew up becoming adults and with their dragon form mature as well these hybrids were able to reproduce in both forms and have babies could be born in both ways whether it be by giving birth or humans by laying eggs the dragons did reproduce but eventually they slowly began to die out now leaving the human hybrids once all dragons died the survivors became the new dragons of the planet these hybrids had the same level of intelligence that earth humans have but these humans were born before humans began to exist on earth. Through the ages, these humans began getting advanced and began creating cities. If anything, these humans did everything before the earthlings got to the same level. Like Eurekotropia, there was another civilization on, of life that were very advanced but they were nowhere near human. They were tall and skinny and were a dark gray color from head to toe but got red around the eyes and spoke in their own language. These creatures were advanced. They were able to create spacecrafts that allowed them to travel to different planets. They were amazed of all the aliens they met. They all had special abilities, but they themselves didn't. It made them feel jealous, not knowing that intelligence was their special ability. They soon began to going everywhere, you know, to every known planet to get a small sample of every alien DNA to test on themselves. It took them decades to get all kinds of DNA, but once they had all the DNA from around their, their side of the universe, they began testing on themselves, but were drawn back. Some of them died, others got sick, so they found a way to mutate the DNA into a gas-like state and decided to not test on themselves, but to test on other beings with no powers to see if it would work and give them powers. This led to the discovery of Earth, a planet full of different kinds of forms from land, sea, and air. They began their journey to Earth on this huge craft that went from went off all radars and would not be detected by any satellite. What you guys just heard was a, a little origin story to how life and the universe became in the DBA. And even though I said I, I did, was gonna take one take on this, I did. But you can see I did slow brief pauses because I was stuttering or I misread the word or thought I was saying something else. So I apologize on that and when it comes to the actual story, I will try to do as many takes and actually take my time with, with every paragraph. But this wasn't very long, it was like 4 paragraphs maybe but they were pretty short. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. But um. I don't know when I'll be releasing the full story. And um, yeah, peace out everyone.